have black uniforms with black numbers on them. And uh, from our vantage point, this is going to be a little difficult today. So I'll have the binoculars out. We'll try to keep up and, uh, and uh, stay along here today as uh, we're about ready to get uh, this contest kicked off in Monroe. And uh, Warhawks will begin here in the gold with an attack downfield rather quickly. And there is uh, the Raging Cajuns. Scoop that ball up. Uh, goalkeeper today for the Cajuns is uh, going to be Libby Harper. Nice crowd here. Beautiful day in northeast Louisiana. As we get the contest underway, the, the temperature ap absolutely perfect out here right now. Uh, it's about 80 degrees this morning uh, here in Monroe and uh, cloud cover, so it should, should be a nice afternoon today for soccer. Warhawks cross field to Yarborough. See her in the gold wearing number three. Back over to Lobato. Cleared out by the Cajuns. And attacking for the Cajuns, Bryn Dunbar. Dunbar over to Hoffman. And the Warhawks clearing it out. Santana Presley kicking the ball back over and we'll get ready to get back underway as the officials getting things Back underway. That's going to be Haley Hoffman taking the kick. Hoffman, header by Lena Goppel for the Warhawks. Keddy Johnson Lobato taking a shot. Warhawks will control. Taylor Henry. Outside the call on you. Outside will be the call. Just getting our contest underway today. ULM claimed a 3 1 victory last year over the Raging Cajuns. First ever victory in Lafayette for the Warhawks. Field there, Dunbar back over to Ortiz. Now the Warhawks, fancy footwork there from Mara Grootkap. She was dangerous in the last contest to assist on goals from Goppel. Goppel. And Libby Harper in goal. Harper in the green today. crowd of folks gathered here and Libby Harper is about to move into a ninth place tie 
with uh, Alexis Strickland in goal. If the Cajuns get a victory today. Mariella Stevens. Gopple there for the Warhawks. In the corner, the black is uh, Ruthney Matarine. Offside the call on Lafayette. Offside Pretty against good. the Cajuns. So free kick coming by the Warhawks. Now today in goal for uh, the Warhawks, number 25. See her in the gray, Michaela Liao. Liala has uh, been playing very well for ULM. Looks like the Warhawks will regain control for a moment. Johnson and that one cleared out by the Cajuns on the far side. Uh, Perry Belzer. Warhawks to Inga Konst. Now here come the Cajuns. Shot and a goal for Carlene Beedry. Beedry showing you how it's done. Beedry from Norco, California. Scoring the goal for the Raising Cajun, number four, Ruthney McKierney. Or excuse me, she got the assist and scoring the goal was Colleen. Now here come the Cajuns. <laughs> to uh, Ruthney Matarine. Katie Johnson for the Warhawks, wearing number 11 in the gold. Johnson over in the far corner. Bells are all over. Inga Konst, Lobato, trying to make something happen across the middle and cleared out by the Cajuns comes Ruthie Matarine. Lena Goppel for the Warhawks. Goppel to Taylor Henry. Henry working her way down the field over in the corner. Takes a shot. Goalkeepers there, Libby Harper. Say to hello to uh, everyone watching today on the ESPN Plus platform. There's a shot scooped up by the Warhawks. Leal was there. Well defended by ULM. Don't forget we've got plenty of soccer action here on ESPN Plus. Find our complete schedule there on the app and see what's coming up. Lots of sports to choose from. Or Hawks have Taylor Henry there, but not able to get there in time on the connector. Libby Harper from Hatfield, England. Townsend Church of England School was her school. Uh, she did play some college soccer at Akron before heading down where it's warm to Lafayette. 
no score or 1-0 our, our score in the contest is uh, the Raging Cajuns with a goal just a couple moments ago. They've taken two shots on goal. The Warhawks have not yet. Back to Leal. Now, Lena Goppel. Back to Leal again. Raging Cajuns. Dunbar. Again, it is tough from my vantage point today. The black numbers on the black uniforms with the naked eye are tough to see. And especially the front numbers. The front numbers are about invisible from where we are. I think the NCAA is going to have to step up on these uh, same color number combinations that uh, you're seeing on a, a lot of uniforms because uh, it makes it tough on uh, the folks that have to write all this stuff down and the statisticians and all of that. Here's a shot from the Cajuns and going to be controlled by the Warhawks as Santana Presley there to uh, stop that drive from the Cajuns. Presley has been playing some great soccer too. Marietta, Georgia. And she had been at Coastal Carolina before coming to Monroe. Been to Coastal Carolina's football facility with the teal turf. I don't, don't know what they play on for soccer. Here come the Hawks quickly down the field and just that quick fortunes change. Here come the Cajuns as Haley Hoffman back over to Carlene Beedry. Look at our pitch here today, and it is uh, very, very dry here in North Louisiana. It's been, was a month uh, from the last rainfall. A few sprinkles fell here in the uh, last week, but very few sprinkles. And uh, had a long morning this morning uh, riding back in from Alabama and came across the Mississippi River. and. I'll tell you what, the uh, Mississippi River running dry right now as I um, was doing some research this morning and down to about four feet of water in the Mississippi River right now at Vicksburg. So dry, dry, dry here in, uh, in this part of the country. Presley, throw it in. Taylor Henry there in the corner in the gold. Fighting it out with Goal Lucy kick. Ortiz. Goal no. kick coming for the Raging Cajuns. Now in the green there, that is Libby Harper in goal. Done a good job so far today for the Cajuns. Cross field over to Stevens. And Lobato for ULM. Teddy Johnson back in Cajun control for a moment. On the far side over there, that is Perry Belzer. Header by Goppel. And well defended by the Cajuns. A shot right to the goalkeeper by the Hawks. Libby Harper, 5'9", junior from England. Very international team, uh, the Cajuns with Canada, Haiti, uh, Germany, England, Denmark, Spain, and Australia. So an international flair for the Cajuns. The Warhawks from Venezuela, Reunion Island, Liechtenstein, Germany, Quebec, Trinidad, and England. 
Got to go a long way to find uh, soccer folks. Soccer Outside the call. in Louisiana oh, has, uh, I guess, not been quite as developed in other places. And so we uh, see a lot of players from Texas and uh, Louisiana not making a, a lot of young ladies we yet, but uh, growing in popularity. And uh, we're glad you're with us today watching college soccer. Tackle attempted there by the Cajuns. Cajun players a little slow getting up. But we play on. Katie Johnson takes the shot high over the crossbar. Just missed for the Hawks. Thirty minutes left in this first half from Monroe. And the Raging Cajuns looking at some notes here and uh, they have won seven of the ten last matches in the series including the last two in Monroe. Katie Johnson. And she tumbles out of bounds on the far side. ULM has been hot this year, though. This has been one of the, the hottest tickets on campus and uh, a program that is growing quickly as uh, new systems being implemented and new players coming in and I uh, think good things have been happening uh, the last couple of years here in Monroe as uh, the team is steadily improving and uh, stepping up to meet Sunbelt competition. It's a tough league. There's Goppel. Inga Konst there to get control for the Hawks. Lena Goppel again. Down to Courtney Martin. And Cole Keith comes in and Pulls that back out. Here comes Goppel. She's got her players set up over to the far side. Courtney Martin in the corner. Katie Johnson. Lobato. And nice collision there between the two. It looks like that was going to be uh, Tatum Beck that uh, went down and rolled right back up. Took a little spill. And we're ready to get back underway. Far side kicking, that is Haley Hoffman. Puts a nice boot to it. Header and now the Hawks trying to get something set up as they drive again. They've got some speed for ULM. Shot across, controlled by the Cajuns and out of play. Const and Lena Goppel for the Warhawks. Worked together last week, two goals. They were a good combination working off each other for ULM. And there's Const in number 14.
Cajuns will control. Mary Ella Stevens. In the corner, Lucy Ortiz. Now driving for the Cajuns. Number four. And a big collision and whistles. Ruthie. Free kick ULM after the foul called on ULM. Foul called, I believe on uh, Matarine number four, Ruthney Matarine. From Haiti. Here's kick from ULM, back to action. out on the far side. So for you know, ULL, number 28, us. Sophia, excuse me, number 28, Penelope Montenegro. See, and for ULM, Penelope number seven, Montenegro. Ashley Washburn. Coming in, Montenegro for the Cajuns, Ashley Washburn for the ULM Warhawks. Just joining us, ULM is in the gold kit. The all black with black numbers that are a little difficult today. That's the Raging Cajuns going all Johnny Cash on us today. I just got some new glasses, but the black on black combination is making it a little rough for me. Here we go. Back in and... Teddy Johnson fighting it out, bounces one off the Cajuns. There's Johnson again trying to clear the ball out, and she does. Tatum Beck over there for the Cajuns, doing a great job. Not able to connect with a cross person, and uh, now a shot for the Warhawks and cleared out by Libby Harper. Harper, where she needed to be is Courtney Martin. She's trying to get something going for ULM. Been back in the contest here. Our score, 1-0, Cajuns. Hawks attacking Ashley Washburn now in the corner. Mixing it up with the Cajuns. Washburn goes down hard. This facility for, for years was a football field at uh, ULM. And uh, the soccer complex uh, was, was built just a few years ago, they, they remodeled the stadium and uh, built a- Are you ready to have fun? Indoor, uh, really nice, uh, room, uh, medical facilities and all of those things. Corner kick for the Warhol. But the point of all that is that track is really hard. Uh, right as you come off the grass edge of the field, um, that track is tough right there. And uh, it's not all rubbery and nice like you'd think it would be to fall on. It hurts quite a bit. And it's uh, pretty close to the grass over there. You saw the, the player go into it just a moment ago. There's a shot across the middle, and the Cajuns will attempt to clear that out. And nicely done by Brent Dunbar from Highland Village, Texas. Twenty-one minutes here left in the first half. One nil, Cajuns. Head coach Chris McBride for the Cajuns. 
in his first season with the Raging Cajuns. 39, 42, and 20 in his sixth season overall as a head coach. That one scooped up by Harper in goal. Beedry. Nicely done by the Cajuns, but the whistles stop everything. Outside the call, three kicks. Offside. That time, uh, the Cajuns had something going with Penelope Montenegro. But the offside threw a little kink in the plan. Here's Leal in goal for ULM. Shot here and quickly, Harper there to scoop it up. Let's go, you have left. Cajuns in black, and that one not able to connect with the Cajuns. Carly Beedry. Lafayette, number 16, into the match. Beedry scored a goal in the last two. contest. It's 621, the fastest goal scored this season for the Cajuns. Maddie Garza coming into the contest for the Warhawks. ULM's got a three-game homestand. He'll play Thursday versus Georgia Southern and wrap up with a match uh, coming up on October 23rd at Troy. Const attacking for the Warhawks. Cross in the corner to Santana Presley. Warhawks are there. And good job by Libby Harper in the green for the Cajuns in goal. It's a good looking green color in goal today. That color, had a car that color, so I know this. British Racing Green, the name of the color. Of course, the goalkeeper today, Libby Hartfer from Hatfield, England. So a, a fitting color in goal. know if she meant to do that or not but anyway good good look at colors there Warhawks on the far side with Montenegro Leal there as the Cajuns were trying to make it happen I believe that is uh, Sissy Stevens from Cicely Stevens from Lantana Texas they were trying to connect with that time Carla Beedry. Back up quickly. Cajuns over to Belzer. Now on the far side. And the Warhawks Leal is there.
Elena Goppel for ULM. She's been red hot. We've not seen her quite on the attack. She was the other day at uh, the Warhawks last contest. But she was red hot last week for ULM. Cross to Beedry. Beedry across the middle, a header, and it's going to be wide as Montenegro with the header and just not able to uh, Sub in for the war put it where, where it needed to be. Blakey. E. Blakey now in for ULM from Newcastle, England. Warhawks Matty Garza that is going to be Washburn Washburn takes a shot nicely done by the Cajuns cross to Beedry Far side, that's going to be Haley Waterhouse from Mandeville, Louisiana. Winds picking up here in Monroe this afternoon. Got a little uh, front that's threatening to uh, bring cold temperatures for the first time this year to, to Louisiana. I think uh, 30 degrees or so day after tomorrow here. It'll be a shock as we're in the 80s today and uh, very nice in Monroe. Santana Presley now for ULM. Warhawks. And busted up by the Cajuns. Inga Konst. Konst takes a swift kick to the leg there. Here come the Cajuns now. And nicely done by Presley. Santana Presley from Marietta, Georgia. General Studies major for the ULM Warhawks. So kick ULM. She got her first shot on goal. Three shots, two on goal against Prairie View back in September. And made her way from being a Chanticleer to being a Warhawk. Lena Goppel, now a crossover, Ashley Washburn. Tried to connect with Goppel, not able to do it. Cajuns broke it up. Here's Beedry. No one there to help her, though. Warhawks will get control again with Matty Garza there. Kenny Johnson. And Cajun goal keep there. To sweep it up. Come on, Warhawks! Southern for the Warhawks, number 19. About 11 Peyton minutes left. Pike. This first half of the contest today, 1 0 our score. Cajuns on top. Now the Warhawks. during October, kind of getting down to the end of the season here as we 
head to the Sunbelt Conference Championship towards the end of October. So about three quarters of the way through the year now. This is when it really counts for the Warhawks and the Cajuns. Washburn back to Inga Konst. Great camp there. Free kick, you know, after the free foul kick. call on Lafayette. Free kick coming up for the Warhawks. The foul will go against the Cajuns. Let's see what the, uh, the Warhawks will do here. We've seen some trickery from the Warhawks on these uh, on these free kicks. And there is some trickery right there. A quick shot by the Warhawks as they actually kick the ball backwards kind of a, to the player that was crossing behind her. I told you, there's been, been a little bit of craziness on our free kicks this year here in Monroe that we've uh, seen from the ULM Warhawks. Cajuns now. Trying to get something happening here in the last bit of this half. Nine minutes left. They are up 1-0 on the Warhawks, but really seem to have struggled a bit getting the ball down to the uh, Warhawk end of the field this afternoon. But our victor's on the scoreboard right now. Now coming across midfield, that's Konst with a long shot, and Cajuns are there as Libby Harper is here to scoop it up. And here come the Cajuns, and nobody there to connect with. Warhawks trying to get there, and that will be Peyton Pipes for ULM. Pipes now to Yarborough. Header from the Cajuns. Pipes. Yarborough. And now the Cajuns. Big collision. Washburn that uh, went to the turf, but she's back up. Shot. And the Cajuns there. Here they come on the advance. And that one will roll out the corner. Subs for ULL, number 24, Allie White. And number Allie 18, White. Gabby Plackey. White coming in and Gabby Plackey. Oh, Plaque. Gabby Plaque. Here this afternoon from Lantana, Texas. Went to school in uh, Denton Geyer, was the high school there in Texas. Texas is a hotbed of soccer activity. And here are Cajuns. That one's going to roll right back out. Warhawks will have Cat Yarborough there. Goppel. Back across now to Waterhouse. Hawks on the attack. Grid camp. Oh, it's going to go 
off the goalie. Libby Harper was there, but uh, not able to hang on. So the Warhawks will head over to the corner. Now in the corner, Inga Konst. Corner kick, ULM. Konst from Balk, Netherlands. Here's the kick, a big clump, and well done by the Cajuns. Libby Harper there. For the Raging Cajuns. Five minutes left here in the first half of play. At minute 40, and here's the Cajuns with an attack. Corner kick, you So the corner kick is coming. They'll send uh, number 33 over the corner, Carlene Beedry. Beedry from Norco, California. Also at Norco, Louisiana, not far away from Lafayette. Kick over and out of bounds. Went into the clump and just kept on going that time. That's Cajuns not able to connect, but quickly back on the attack. Warhawks. Matty Garza steps up. Sandra Decomb there. And in the corner, that's Decomb from Quebec. day here in Louisiana a little cloudy and but now the clouds are uh, starting to give way a little bit to the sun we're warming up a little bit too here come the ULM Warhawks Washburn Washburn takes a shot Washburn's down right now see her there with the orange shoes orange boots on the bottom back up. And we're back underway. This will say play on, so here we go. Kick from Harper. It was a high one. Caught a lot of air time. Back again to Harper. Cajuns trying to get things set up to Hoffman. Back to Beedry. Got a player there who's hustling and not in time. Lena Goppel. Warhawks were trying to get things quickly going. Now the officials say we can get back underway. We've got a Warhawk over on the far side that's really uh, shaking up a little bit. It's Ashley Washburn from Conroe, Texas. Looks like the Warhawks will have to bring another player in here. That'll be number 28 of the Warhawks, Sophia Youngman from Johnson City, Tennessee. Sophia today also sporting the pink hair. It's uh, 
been Breast Cancer Awareness Month here at ULM. And you may see some of the uh, the pink A-frames, uh, advertising A-frames around the stadium today. So she's sporting the pink hair in support. It's <laughs> not happy with that, but uh, things continue. Leal in goal. Leal from Rockwall, Texas. One minute remaining in the first half. One minute remaining. So about in a minute the here half. in the first half of our contest today. Warhawks trying to quickly capitalize as quickly as they can. 45 seconds now. Lena Goppel. We'll uh, take the kick here. Back underway. Quick kick. The so Warhawks are trying to get something done before the half. They're fighting. And whistles will go the other way. 38 seconds. Got a vocal uh, group of young fans here today in attendance. Twenty seconds. And a gopple clearing it out for ULM. Ten. Ten Nine, seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Cajuns playing three, keep away. Two, one. And that's the end and of the first half. That will be the end of the first half. Now, our the score, score at the half. Raging Cajuns one, Warhawks nil. Warhawks with four shots on goal. Cajuns just taking two past her this afternoon. Warhawks at uh, this point of the contest um, have held the ball about 52% of the time, 42% of the uh, possession going to the Ragin' Cajuns. And we're back for second half action from Monroe. The Cajuns are in the all black today. Warhawks in their gold. Warhawks have been sporting that gold quite a bit uh, at the contest I've been at. It's been fairly lucky for them. Gold Sunday. Cajuns now in all black today. Tatum Beck there for the Cajuns stepping up. Katie Johnson goes down, takes a Cajun player with her as Free kick. that was After the Ortiz. Foul was called, called on Lucy Ortiz. Lena Goppel over for ULM. Lena from Liechtenstein. She'll set up the free kick for the Warhawks. There's the kick. Fight for the ball and control. Warhawks back across and cleared out by the Cajuns. ULM's been red hot, 10-3 and two thus far on the year. The Cajuns one, seven and five. And the thing that matters even more uh, to the coaches and fans, that conference record uh, for ULM, 
two, three, and one. For the Cajuns right now, they're still looking for their first win, 0-4-2 oh, in Sunbelt Soccer. Sunbelt uh, Soccer has a lot of parity in the conference on the women's side. men's side and exciting at the schools that uh, play men's soccer. ULM not with a men's soccer team. But for the folks that don't know, the, the SEC doesn't have men's soccer. Here comes Johnson. Crosses across the middle. Warhawks fighting and a kick. Johnson, and well defended by the Cajuns. But the point of that story was that uh, men's Sunbelt soccer has picked up Kentucky and South Carolina. So some big name soccer programs on the on the men's side now in the Sunbelt. Inga Konst into the clump and not able to be controlled and out of bounds. Go kick, you all out. Big batch of Cajuns out here in uh, the stands today. A lot of folks uh, coming up from Lafayette for a beautiful weekend here in Louisiana. Fans did not like the call from the officials there. Free kick, left Free kick coming up for foul the Cajuns. On the foul on the Warhawks. One nil, our score, Cajuns up. Raging Cajuns lead the series 14 to five with two ties. Cajuns quick there and back into action. Here come the Cajuns. And Warhawks, that one out of there. And goal today, Libby Harper. She's been flawless so far for the Cajuns. You see her there in the green. Cajuns setting something up now with Beck. Const breaking it up for the Warhawks. Const not able to connect with her player. Back across the middle now, the Cajuns come. That's going to be Dunbar. Big kick, a header. Lobato fighting it out with Beck. Warhawks control. They come into the stands. Didn't quite make it. Big foot there from the Cajuns. We'll see you, Lobato. Well, now we have two balls on the field at one time. I only need one. Lobato across the brain. corner you'll see Lobato from Galway, Ireland. Beautiful place if you ever get to go. Might make a lot of glass and crystal there. Oh, 
Outside the call on ULM. Offside Free against the Warhawks. ULM. Cajuns across the field. Inga Kantz mixing it up with Beedry. Kick from the Cajuns. Leal is there for ULM. Johnson. And again, big collision. Here's the Cajuns trying to advance the ball, but well defended by the ULM Warhawks. Mayor wearing number 22 in the gold. And the Cajuns quickly controlling. And here they come. Raging down the field. Shot coming from Beck. And out in the corner. Both number threes mixing it up, Yarborough and Beck. Tatum Beck from Flower Mound, Texas. Corner kick, ULL. Used to live a few blocks from Flower Mound, Texas for a while. Beautiful part of the world over in the DFW Metroplex. And well defended by the Warhawks as Leal was there in goal. The sophomore has really been playing well for ULM. Lena Goppel now attacking on the far side, advancing. I believe that is Johnson. And again, the Cajuns kind of hard to identify with the black numbers today on the black uniforms. That's going to be number nine over there, Haley Hoffman, battling it out and not able to get there in time. Libby Harper from Hatfield, England. Const, looking for the Warhawks in the corner and not able to get there that time as the goal Cajuns defending well. So the goal kick will come for the region Cajuns. 34 minutes left in the contest. Cajuns on top, 1-0. Frame there for the Warhawks. Here come the Cajuns, though, on the far side. Cross shot right to the Warhawks. Nice try there by the Cajuns. Good defense by ULM. Hawks have been hot right now. Trying to get some points on the board today as uh, Cajun scored early in today's contest. Let's go, you all out. Const. 
once again. Crossing to Lobato. And the Cajuns break it up. Tatum Beck on Flower Mound. And that one will roll out. Into the match for the Raising Cajuns is number 66, Emma Bates. So number 66, Emma Bates in. A 5'7 freshman from Central Coast, Australia. From the Waldaba Community School, uh, where she played her ball before coming to Louisiana. Long way to get to Lafayette from Australia. Long way to get to ULM from a lot of these, uh, for a lot of these players who are playing today. I think Australia may be the furthest one, though, I've seen on the roster. Cleared out by the Cajuns and right back into the fire. On the far side, Santana Presley. Frame. The Hawks to Groot Camp. Kenny Johnson takes a shot, hits the crossbar. And officials will stop play. Warhawks look like they might have another shot at it. And they've got a hurt player over on the far side of the pitch. That's going to be uh, the player that just came in, Emma Bates from Australia. She's shaking up a bit. Calling the trainer in. You see the uh, Raging Cajun trainer there in red coming out to take a look at her. We'll have a little stop in the action. 1-0 our score. Let's uh, look at some of the stats, though, thus far. Four shots on goal for each team. Uh, three corner kicks for ULM, two for the Raging Cajuns. Three saves for the Warhawks. Four saves for the Cajuns. Still looking at that leg, applying pressure down by the ankle. Let's see if it's a cramp or something else. Well, she is walking it off with some assistance. And it looks like the Cajuns will have to bring in another player. Into the match for the Raging Into Cajuns. the match will be number, fi number 15, Carol Rodriguez. Carol Rodriguez. From Zaragoza, Spain. Cajuns with the kick. And now attacks from Johnson for the Warhawks. Lobato getting into place. Johnson back across the middle. Cleared out by the Cajuns. Here come the Cajuns. Over in the far corner. For the Cajuns. Shot. And it is a goal. That's going to be number four for the Cajuns. Ruthney Matarine. Matarine goal by Raging with Cajun, the goal. Number four, Ruthney Matarine. Two nil our score now. Cajuns on top. 30 minutes left in the contest. Warhawks will have to wake up here. Start putting a few shots more shots on goal. You hear just heard a fan uh, yell, take some shots. And uh, that's what the Warhawks will have to do here. The great Wayne Gretzky with the quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Michael Scott.
right, here we go. Warhawks down in the corner. Breen. And that one. Goal Did kick, not have yeah. a chance, so goal kick coming for the Cajuns. Cajuns need a ball. We'll get ready to get things back underway. Libby Harper. Far side there for the Cajuns. Now the Warhawks coming out of it. To Taylor Henry. Got some substitutions, substitutions coming in. For GLL, number 16. Looks like it'll be number 16 Cicely for the Stevens Cajuns. And number Cicely two, Stevens. Cassandra Decomb. Cassandra Decomb also entering from Canada. Or Haunts with Lee Al in goal today. Goffel on the far side. Warhawks have Eve Blakey. Blakey, cross, a shot blocked by the Cajun defenders. Goffel now coming up. Bream back across to Lobato for the Warhawks. Kenny Johnson, fancy footwork there, but all for naught. And the Cajuns now on the attack. Classique. Rain. Effie over to Katie Johnson. You're just joining us here in Monroe, Louisiana today. Penelope Montenegro. Penelope Montenegro, the freshman from Houston, Texas. Coming into the contest. High kick and a battle for it. Fans wanted a whistle there. A little bit of holding and pushing there for both teams. Well done by the Warhawks there. Over to Johnson. Johnson is dangerous. Lobato trying to make something happen. Nutmeg there. Here's the shot. And broken up by the Cajuns. Big tackle by the Warhawks. Nicely done by the graduate student from Trinidad, Katie Johnson. Johnson was at ULM down at uh, FIU, Florida International, and, uh, doing her graduate studies here in Monroe. Ooh. Heard that one up here in the box as uh, both players going for the ball. I think Ortiz got the worst of that one for the Cajuns. Substitutions into the match for Lafayette, number 24, Allie White, and for ULM, number 12, Maddie Garza. So Allie White coming in out of Frisco, Texas for the Cajuns. Garza, Maddie Garza, 5'4", junior from North Richland Hills, coming in for the Warhawks. 
Cajuns up by two in this contest. Lena Gopple. Presley, Taylor Henry on the far side. Couldn't get the number on the Cajun player that time. Fight for it. That time, Montenegro was there battling it out with the Warhawk player. Cajuns come out. Tackle attempt by the Warhawks, and there's another battle for it. Looks like the, they say it looked like the Cajun was controlled, but calls from the official. Say offside. Big foot there by the Cajuns. Goppel with a header. Cajuns with a header back. And Warhawks control. Longest series, I was reading a fact earlier, the fourth longest soccer series in the state of Louisiana, the Cajuns and the Warhawks. They've been doing this for a number of years. Warhawks won last year when these two had the match. Whistles over in the corner. Rocks won their first time in the last 11 matches down in Lafayette last year. Free kick Lafayette after the foul called in Free the kick. Over in the corner for the Cajuns. That'll be Stevens taking the kick. Lantana, Texas. Here's the kick. And Warhawks cleared out. That was Konst with a big header. And open goal. There's the shot and the score by the Cajuns. I'll get you the number in just a second when she turns around. I believe it was number 16, but everybody's hugging her right now. Yes, that was number 16, so that is Cicely Stevens, the freshman from Lantana, Texas. As the Warhawks had to come out of goal to defend, and just that quick, undefended goal, and... Uh, Cajuns able to put the ball right where they needed to. 3-0 our score now. 20 minutes, 22 right minutes left in the contest. Score by number 16, Cicely Stevens. The assist goes to number 24, Allie White. So Allie White with the assist for the Cajuns. The sophomore from Frisco. So this is a match for ULM, number 11, Katie Johnson, and number 28. Katie Johnson coming Sophia in for the Warhawks. Sophia Youngman also in now for ULM. Lucia Lobato into Konst.
boot camp and then cleared out. Cajuns now back. The Cajuns have struggled in conference, but they don't look like it today, as thus far, it's been all over the Hawks. Here towards the end of the season, foul there. Warhawks, Matty Garza. Garza mixing it up with Lucy Ortiz from Round Rock, Texas. A kick by the Cajuns. And Allie White there for the Cajuns, but not in time. Offside called on, Offside. not yet. Free kick, you are right. Got to get everybody else there with you, too. here today in North Louisiana. Big collision there between Kenny Johnson and slow to get up that time, Montenegro. The play continues. Montenegro is still kind of favoring that leg a little bit. She's just going to have to walk it off. That's how it works. Cajuns, Beedry, back in goal for ULM, Michaela Leal has the kick coming from the Cajuns. Free kick for Lafayette after the foul. So call the free on kick. Well, let's see. I can see the three, and that's all I can see over there. There is another number, 33. That is uh, Beedry. Takes a little short shot, and Warhawks will clear it out. Try to go over the top, but elected not to go all the way to goal, trying to set something up, and. Uh, didn't work there for the Cajuns that time as the Warhawks are there. Lena Goppel. Now over to Yarborough. She's got Lobato right there with her. And back to goal. We'll try the other side. Lena Goppel for ULM. Coaches from both staffs on the far side uh, very well today. Just telling their players what they expect. Lucy Ortiz now. Round Rock, Texas. back for the Cajuns. She's got a chance to stop it, but, and she does. Corner kick for the Warhawks. Corner kick coming up for ULM. Eve Blakey is the one attempting the shot for the Warhawks. The Cajuns 
Busted that out. Corner kick coming on the far side. Inga Kantz. And that one is on top of the pink net today. Pink nets for breast cancer awareness here at the Brown Stadium ULM Soccer Complex. ULM's been all pink this year uh, with the uh, football game the other night, the homecoming contest at uh, Malone Stadium. They were all pink for that, and uh, the pink continues for the month of October. Lena Goppel from Liechtenstein. Big kick there from Goppel. Header. And the Cajuns get there first. Cajun goalkeeper has been flawless back there today. Lots of international experience for Young ladies from both of these teams. Katie Johnson now attacking for the Warhawks from Trinidad. And tackle in the corner kick ULM. Tackle there made uh, that time by Lucy Ortiz. Corner kick coming for the Warhawks. Ortiz right next door in Texas. Corner kick is up and off the top of the net. Down to about 14 and a half minutes, and Warhawks will have to make up some time here. They're going to need to pick up three for the tie, four for the win. Number five, Brian Dunbar. Cajuns have been playing very well today. Dunbar now in. Bryn Dunbar from Highland Village, Texas. A true freshman from Marcus High School. Over there on the far side. It's Kantz that went down. Lena Goppel. We take ULM after the foul call on ULM. The foul call, that is uh, Goppel, the sophomore. Takes a shot. Cajuns will clear it out again. Warhawks, Blakey. over to Goffel. See the sense of urgency in the Warhawks now. Quicker, little quicker pace of play. Substitution, Substitution now coming in for, Warhawks, for number 13, ULM. Martin. That'll be Courtney Martin. Collinsville, Illinois, the freshman. Bato, Kenny Johnson, and whistles and the foul, free kick for the Cajuns. That'll be uh, number six there, Lucy Ortiz. Haley Hoffman now. Out of Austin, Texas. Back 
Battle in the corner and out of play. Corner kick. Corner kick coming up for the Cajuns. Let's see. Into the match and we'll bring for in the Raging Cajuns. Subs. Number three, Tatum Beck. Number three, Tatum Beck coming in. Back into the contest, Flower Mound High School. Kick and got a Warhawk down, not moving at all, actually. And looks like it's Katie Johnson. She's already got a leg wrap, you may see on her upper thigh. I think she. Might have taken another one on the thigh. The trainer will come in on that leg wrap. She has a little spot of blood on the leg wrap. A little spot of blood on the socks too. We'll come in and wash that. And Trainer will make sure everything's safe and we'll get back underway here. 11 minutes and 13 seconds left in the contest. Three, three nil our score. We'll take another look at it right here. As the trainer looks, here's the goal. First goal. Second goal Into coming the match up. for the Warhawks. And the blood injuries, number 17, Santana Presley. That's what goal number two looked like, and goal number three. That's where we are right now. <laughs> Had a little uh, blood injury, and uh, play will stop. Santana Presley comes into the contest for the Warhawks after that uh, brief break, and we're back underway. side that's to comb over in the corner goal kick ULM ULM's goal kick coming up Michaela Leal Leal is majoring in kinesiology at ULM Say they, kick ULM after the offside advance was coming quickly from the Warhawks, a little too quickly offside for the Hawks. Raging Cajuns, Libby Harper, back in goal today. Quickly again, Kat Yarborough there though to head it off. Yarborough. Now the Warhawks moving quickly. Cross, far side, I think that's Blakey. And Cajuns now. Another big collision. <laughs> Lena Goppel there as we'll set up for the kick. Lena Goppel, we're number five there. From Lichtenstein. 
Big shot. Cajun goalkeeper there. Clear it out. Substitutions now for the Cajuns. In the match for Raging Cajuns is number 22, Perry Belzer. It's going to be number 22, Perry Belzer from Washington. Tough day for our announcers and statisticians today. Cajuns with the black numbers on black and got a radio on the far side that uh, will call in those substitutions to us. Goffle now for ULM. Crossing to Lobato. Now a shot by the Warhawks. Matty Garza, but High and wide. Goal kick, ULL. 3 0 our score. Just over seven minutes left in the contest. Cajuns with six shots on goal at this point. Warhawks with just four. Here's the goal kick from the Cajuns. Header. Hawks and out of play. Lena Goppel there for ULM finds Tonst. Goppel back across to Lobato and nice footwork by Santana Presley. Cajuns marching down the field. Late in the, the season, we're not far away from the Sun Belt Championships coming up. Collision, Cajun player a little slow to get up on the far side. Now at the midfield will be Hoffman. Lena Goppel. Hawks now over to Kat Yarborough from Warner Robins, Georgia. And we'll stay in. Across to Lena Goppel. Goppel was dangerous in the last contest for the War Hawks. Couple of goals. She was red hot. But has not shown that uh, fire today yet. 4.30 left in the contest. And here come the Cajuns. Trying to tack another one on. Shot, hits a bar. Four minutes left in the contest. Off the post and the bar there right in the corner. Another 
another shot across the middle, and Cajuns will have a shot. Warhawks attacking quickly. And they'll have to, at this point, all the Cajuns will have to do is play keep away for a couple of minutes. Warhawks, Courtney Martin. Martin back to Groot Camp. And Tons comes out to challenge. Cajuns will get it out of there. And Lobato now fighting it out with the Cajuns. Nicely defended by the Cajuns, but here come the Hawks again. Big tackle, big collision. And well done by the goalkeeper, Libby Harper. Two and a half minutes. Three nil our score. go to Rodriguez and Rodriguez down in the corner Warhawks will control Groot Camp Groot Camp from Germany for the Warhawks Matty Garza Presley back to Yarborough and Cajuns will be there. Minute and a half left in the contest. Saw the Cajuns just kind of a running clock till the Warhawk player challenge. And we'll continue. Warhawks trying to at least avoid the shutout at this point. up on a minute one minute remaining in the match one minute remaining in the match Warhawks now quickly attacking Sophia Youngman another big collision on the far side as that was Youngman from Johnson City Tennessee 30 seconds. We're Hawks at least trying to salvage some pride today here in the last 30 seconds of the contest. Ten, Ten seconds nine, left and eight, Cajuns seven, will just play keep six, away. Five, four, three, two, one. And that's the end of the match with the final score, the Raging Cajuns three. So the Cajuns victorious zero. this afternoon in Monroe.